what we're going to be doing is putting the, uh, the cylinder head cover back on, uh, got a new gasket, new gasket right here. We're going to put some sealant on it and put all the, uh, all the bolts back on it, torque it down to spec. And I'm just going to go over real quick on, uh, how to do all that. So, but I wanted to show you, uh, the bolts that we're, they're messing with today. All right. So we have, uh, let's see here. Exhibit a, these are the bolts that I, uh, pulled out. As you can see, they are pretty bad. This one actually got stuck in there. I actually had to, uh, tap drill it out. I don't know if you can see that or not. And then, uh, obviously these are, uh, definitely not in good condition. I, I wouldn't put them back in. Uh, some people will put them back in. I, I don't know. Just spend the extra money. If you're gonna go this far, just spend the extra money. Uh, go ahead and get some new bolts. These are what uh, are actually gonna go back into the cylinder head. And uh, I did, I cleaned it out as best as I possibly could. I don't know if you can see anything like that, but uh, basically the rebuilt carburetors are already back on it. The starter is back on it. I have not put all the uh, all the guts back on it, all the ignition stuff back on it. But once we get this all sealed up, uh, it should be uh, should be pretty good to go. Of course, I'm going to take a water hose and uh, lift it on a jack and stick it right there and force water through there. Make sure it's coming out right here. This is where it needs to come out uh, to properly cool everything in the water jack. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I just want to give you guys a quick, uh, quick introduction. Right now I got the uh, power head uh, basically upside down. I uh, made sure I wasn't crushing anything, but uh, the way you want to do this uh, after you put the sealant, you want the sealant on here and then you want to put a little bit of sealant around here. A lot of the water jackets tend to leak uh, around the spark plug holes, especially towards the top. This is where the warmer, the warmer water is. But uh, when you torque it down, you want to do it in the sequential phases. In the sequence, you're going to want to go, see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that would be one sequence. And basically the idea is just to work from the middle, middle, out. All right, so see what I got? This uh, high heat uh, Honda Bond. Hmm. may not be recommended by manufacturers, but... I did use it on the 650 and it worked out pretty well. So we're gonna do it.
All right, so now we got pretty much everything on there. Leave everything sealed. I'm pretty happy with everything. Feels good. Feels good. Now we're going to start putting the bolts on. Some of that on there. See that?
There we go. All right, so that will uh, conclude this uh, little short video on how to put on a, a cylinder head on an engine that's uh, 50 years old. Uh, so what we're going to do now is let it cure for uh, let it cure for a couple of days, maybe even a week. I don't know. And then we're actually going to pump water through. I'm going to pump water through it just to test it, just to make sure there's no leaks. No leaks anywhere. Sometimes these bolts, uh, the water can come through the bolts. Uh, sometimes the sealant doesn't sit right. But I just want to make sure it all works before we uh, go ahead and put this puppy back on and get ready to get ready to push it on down the road to a to a new home. But uh, that's all I got for you. Thanks for watching.